Admiral and Byrd. Did you ever he was that? one of the only people to ever fly over the North and South Pole. Yeah. Like, he has all these journals about, like, talking to, like, the tall beings. Well, like, there's, like, 100-foot trees down there. He did and, another expedition over Antarctica, and I, that's where he went inside. So, mm-hmm. right? you have this person talking about the biggest scientific discovery of all times. <laughs> See, I don't know that I fully subscribe to us being flat. That's what that's what I mean. I'm like, but Big, just the idea that why can't we go to Antarctica? But see, that's where... And then you find hollow earth. And then you're like, that makes more sense. That makes more sense than, than we're in this like weird, what is it, the Truman Show? Yeah. That's what, the, like, that's kind of what flat earth is like. You're in that Truman Show sort of thing. Which we very well could be. I mean, there's all these different weird... Quant- I mean, we... You know, what is Stephen Hawking said, you know, and and so did Elon Musk and a couple other uh, scientists throughout recent history said that there's more scientific evidence than not that we live in a holographic universe. Mm. You know, so it, it, you know, Stephen Hawking's one of the most, you know, amazing mm-hmm, minds of all time mm-hmm. saying that there's more scientific evidence that it's more probable than not. Now, he's not saying it's 100% certain, but that there's more likelihood than not that we live in a holographic universe, Mm -hmm. which is interesting. Like, so we're all playing like a little computer game. Yeah. But it does. Everything, like when you start doing life and figuring it out, it is starting to play like a game. Well, it it does play like a game. And if you don't take it too seriously, you can have more fun, do Mm -hmm. more, achieve more, and explore more. But you got to be open. Okay, so mm-hmm. maybe you're listening to this and you're saying wackadoos, but what, <laughs> what if, what if, just what if there is more than we don't know, right? Yes. And, and, and that's what I liked about this, okay, because there is a lot of weirdness about Antarctica mm-hmm. and about the North Pole, both, mm-hmm. right? You know, mm-hmm. and so like one biggest thing, you cannot, nobody is allowed to fly over the North Pole or over the South Pole, okay? Does make any sense? It's so weird. Why? And if you've ever seen, like, there's this thing called the Taurus energy field, okay? And the Taurus energy field goes like this, okay? So if this is mm-hmm. like, you know, and so we have it as people. We have this little, like, mm-hmm. auric field. But the plant ha- or the planet has it, and it's called our atmosphere, you know? But it goes like this. And if you ever see the lines, the magnetic curves around it go like this. Mm-hmm. And then, like, an orange forms and has the core, and it has a little indent on each side, little little circle. Apple, doo, 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 doo. so mm. you know, oh, like yeah. like all of these things mm. in nature. If there's you know microcosm, macrocosm, you know, there's there'd be more of an indication that there's some kind of weird indentation out of the North and South Pole. And so, mm. okay, when you stumbled upon the Hollow Earth theory, what did you find out? Let's uh, let's have you share a little bit about what it is. Okay, so s- then you go into the Hollow Earth, and it's like supposed to be like paradise. I saw, I read one of the things I was like, or a video or something. I can't remember so many things, but that that's where dinosaurs actually live, and that's why we, the, how we find their bones, like they weren't up here, they're in there. Huh. And I don't know, like like that's actually where dinosaurs reside, and that's because like. Well, I mean, I think maybe there's some like skeletons all over our mountain ranges and stuff yeah, too yeah, yeah. but like stuff comes like through the dirt interesting i didn't hear that theory i, I, I can't the remember hole. where that was from that but i was like oh wow that's why we don't have no dinosaurs you know there's there's a lot of <laughs> mysteries here but you know like Maybe they do, like, that's okay. So if you go back, okay, mm-hmm. this hollow earth theory, okay, going back from Haley Comet person, Mr. Haley, the scientist in the 1600s saying this, and a lot of people believed it for a short period of time, mm-hmm. right? And then there was Admiral Byrd. Did you ever read Admiral that's, Byrd's? That's the, like, biggest. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. Red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. That's the biggest, okay? So there's this admiral, right? And he really respected admiral in uh, World War One, World War Two. I think got the Congressional Medal of Honor. You know, so very, very respected person. Mm-hmm. And he was one of the only people to ever fly over the North and South Pole. 
Anyone mm-hmm. share a little bit more of his story? So he goes and then, but he can't tell anything because he's working for the military. That's what you told me. Yeah. Um, but then there's like more, like he has all these journals about like talking to like the tall beings, like like 15 foot tall people. There's like 100 foot trees down there. And like, um, whew. He just like has all this stuff of like all the things that are happening in there in his journal and then, but then couldn't tell anybody. Yeah. So this is a guy that for every expedition that he ever did, he's one of those like military guys, no pun intended, but uh, that would take a record, a daily log of every everything that he did mm-hmm. from all of his battles, from all of his different, you know, assignments. And so he would write these little journal logs with the dates on it and then what happened in a very much factual manner, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about. And so uh, he, as soon as he flew into Antarctica, and I guess he went into Antarctica, I'm not 100% if he went into the North Pole too, but he flew over the North Pole and and then he did another expedition over Antarctica and that's where he went inside, Mm -hmm. right? And uh, I could have the two confused fact check me on this but um and so he goes inside and he spends a couple weeks in there Mm -hmm. and when it and he's logging this every single time and when he comes out he actually did a press conference and mentioned and there's papers with like you know some of the head uh like his test or like his statement to the press Mm -hmm. saying that he discovered the most significant scientific discovery of all times and he couldn't wait for people to discover more the world beneath worlds or the world within worlds or something like that. And it's very ambiguous, but it's like clear. There's footage of that. There's <laughs> like literal footage of that. It's not just like written in a newspaper. There was like footage of him saying that. Yeah. So, okay. And it's in, in the press papers. So you have this person talking about the biggest scientific discovery of all time, super excited about it. I didn't see the footage of it, but the footage of it too. And the way that he describes the, like the world within worlds or however the wording is, but it's something along those lines depicting that there is so much more to discover that we had di- just scratched the you know surface. And so then he goes into the military like, you know, uh, scrutinizes him. He gets through automatic lockdown. He goes through all this and he's writing this journal log throughout all of this process. And he's reminded that first and foremost, his last journal entry about about the subject was his uh, first and foremost, he is a man of the military and he must obey orders. And so he didn't say anything. That is until he died and his son released the journal. Mm. So when he passed away, his, the son published his journal and the very last journal entry had told, said that he was ordered to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> if you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.